Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of She Plays Final Fantasy XIV, The Realm Reborn with Kobu! Woo woo woo! Alright, so last time we left off, we finally got all of the annoying, like, go get wine, go get food and stuff out of the way. And apparently we found out it was a party for us! What Party hearty, yeah, yeah, yeah! What we're gonna do today, well, what we're gonna do today is we're gonna actually finally fight Flippin' Titan! We gotta talk to this guy, we whistled for him around here in, in the little thingies. So we're gonna go ahead and fight the Lord of Craigs. Years ago, when we was weighing up how to get to Titan, one of our scouts stumbled across his this beastman, Etherite Sea. Hmm, what's with that look for? Not familiar with him. No. He speaks of an unamplified Aetherite, which has been claimed by a beast tribe. Lest you wonder, there is no fundamental difference between such Aetherites and those which you have used on countless occasions, Kovu. Alright, well, if it ain't to the Charlian lass, welcome back. Forgive me for interrupting. I had planned to await your report, but I succumbed to curiosity. The tunnels beneath Ogomoro form a bewildering labyrinth that no outsider has ever fully explored. How the company of heroes managed to navigate it is a mystery I have long pondered. Ha! <laughs> Give us a bit of credit, love. We weren't daft enough to go try going in the front. The kobolds are always digging new tunnels and filling new ones with traps. One wrong step and the next thing you know, we've got a hundred tons of rock on your noggin. Suicide to even try, see? Funny thing is, the kobolds didn't seem to have no trouble finding their way around. And it was that us got us thinking. I mean, Hoogamore Mines are like a bleeding city, ain't they? And getting around in a city that big would be a right pain in the arse if we didn't have an Aethernet, wouldn't it? So it stood to reason that the Kobolds must have one, didn't it? Hmm. Even if there were an Aetherite shard in the depths of Ogamoro, you would have needed to attune yourselves to them before you could even identify their signatures within the live stream. Aye, well, that's where you're wrong, love. We had the Charlian bloke to help us, see? Delivered us right into Titan's bedchamber, he did. I don't rightly know how he did it, but I do remember him saying it weren't nothing any Charlian scholar worth her salt couldn't manage. Did he now? Hmm. Locating a beacon in the absence of a known signature might be possible if the Aetherites in question happen to be... Oh, yes. But in order to guide a traveler to said beacon safely... A second party would be required to... Hmm. It is possible. In theory, at least. Yet I cannot be certain until I try. Plainly, all will depend upon whether or not I am... Worth my salt. Oh, you are, lass. Don't you worry about that. Put a bit of faith in yourself. Why don't we all go to Zelma's running and take a closer look at the Aetherite? It ain't far, though there's sure to be a few kobolds block the way. Not ye can't handle, mind. Alright, so we gotta clear these guys out, I think. Shouldn't be no hassle! And done. And now we got the Aetherite right here. Look at this beast man. Let's interact with it. God, this outfit is terrible. We're so close to 50 and then we can finally look somewhat decent. So this is the Aetherite the Company of Heroes used to gain access to Titan's Sanctuary. Hmm. It is as Papalimo speculated. In its present state, this Aetherite signal will not be strong enough for our purposes. I may, however, be able to use my own energies to amplify it. Alas, the task will monopolize my attention for the duration. It seems you will have to proceed without me, Kovu. I must needs remain here and supplement to the Speakin's power, lest you be denied your only path of escape. 
Fear not, I will summon the Maelstrom forces stationed nearby to protect us. With effort, it is possible that I may be able to stabilize the Aetherite's signal and thereby join you, albeit belatedly. Until such time as I do so, you will be on your own. Now, let us see if I am worth my salt. I have located another beacon, one far below the mountain. I can only speculate as to what you will find there, so stint not in your preparation. Dun, dun, dun. We now have unlocked the navel, which means it's time to fight us a titan. But we need some friends first. Let's see if our friends are still awake. Look, an overdweller. Yes, yes, an invader from above. He uses our Aetherites against us. He has defiled Titan's sacred sanctuary. Trespass violated defiled. Overdwellers must leave. Overdwellers must fly. Brothers and sisters, fear him not. His fate shall be decided by the Lord of Crags. Hear me, overdweller. You and your treacherous brethren must be held to account for the breaking of the covenant. You shall be first to face judgment, then limbs and limbs and her oathbreakers, liars, betrayers, oathbreakers. Oh, great father, Lord of Craig's Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Oh, great father, Lord of Craig's Titan, we summon you. Titan, we summon you. Ah, snap. He has come! He has come! The Lord of Crags, Titan, is come! Overdweller, art thou deaf to all their weeping? Thy vile kind coveth ever the blessing of the land and murdereth my children by the score, all in service to greed. Such sins are beyond pardon. Ah, but I am not the first to suffer thy defiance. Thou didst bring Ifrit low. God, this overdweller, thy myriad heresy shall not go unpunished. Upon thee shall I wreak a terrible vengeance. Allegies, mad. All right. There we go, I guess. Covered him over or brought him over. It's 
definitely not good. I gotta move that damn thing. Holy fuck. Crimes of the open will shall never be forgiven, never be forgotten, no, no, never! <laughs> Towards your kin who broke the covenant, we have acted only in defense of our lands. Cease your aggression, or never will there be peace. Until our dying breaths, we shall defy you, deny, decry, defy! Now these are the readings one would expect of an icon. I have seen enough. We proceed as planned. Are you sure that is wise, my lord? Your curiosity is untested and unproven. We do not yet know its true capabilities. Then trust in mine, Ritarthin. My curiosity, as you so eloquently put it, would have best had tightened in the blink of an eye. Why, if there be truth to the legends, it could readily subjugate the whole of Eorzea given but a little while longer, is that not so? It is. No greater single power has ever been conceived, much less realized. What you say may be well be true, but while such devices may win battles, I do not believe they will serve to change the course of this war. Oh, but they will. I have a little faith, my friend. 
I cannot endorse this course of action. Fool. <laughs> and now he has a force. Fascinating. Carry on, Crystal Bearer. Far though you have come, your work is far from done. Isn't she supposed to be maintaining the teleport? And not remain to mark his passing. Well, the Asians are nothing if but not elusive. It is of little wonder that they should cast advanced teleportation's magics at will. But that they would choose to consort with the Empire. What common goal could they possibly share? I feared I might arrive too late, but I see you had the matter well in hand. I have taken measures to ensure that we are not pursued, yet I cannot say how long they will hold. Take your leave while the kobolds are still in disarray. I will follow a nun. There is something I must investigate before I depart. I will teleport you to the Etherite in Zelma's Run, and we will rendezvous at Camp Bronsley. Agreed? Rendezvous with her again. There she is. I'm relieved to see you well, but come, let us discuss our next step. <laughs> the wood will already have reached Maelstrom Command. Protocol requires that a representative of our order inform the High Commander of the mission's success. The honor is rightfully yours, Kovu. Once again, I must commend you on a job well done. We shall speak again soon. Alright! Thank you for coming, Kobu. Word of your triumph reached me some while ago, but I am pleased to have it personally confirmed. First different and now Titan. Truly, when I think of your achievements, I feel the loss of the Warriors of Light less keenly. And there can be no greater compliment than that. You and your orders are heroes. The people of Lim's Laminsa are forever in your debt. I shall relay the details of your report to Admiral forthwith. Please send my regards to the Scions of the Seventh Dawn. Hooray! You defeated Titan! Yeah, that's right. Kovu, this is Menphilia. Your stroller has informed me of your success. You have won a great victory for the people of Eorzea, one that shall not be forgotten. And what is more, both you and your Strolli emerged from Ogomoro unscathed. Why, Zitara and the others seemed as glad as that as they did of Titan's fall. You can look forward to a hero's welcome. We'll be awaiting your returns in the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Wait. Why are you frightened? Was that screaming I heard? I'm not sure I want to know. You hear the commotion just now? What the seven hells were they doing in there? Wrestling a piece he looked like the adventurous type. Mind taking a quick look? Wait. What's going on? I don't know what's in here. Okay? He doesn't look to be okay. That's a Garlean soldier.
the hell happened? This one is glad, walking when is safe. We'll be awaiting your return at the Waking Sands. There is much to discuss. Godspeed. Thank heavens he is safe. Louisois, do you see? Your light shines brightly in this one, and in time it will illuminate the realm once more. Oh! Bring him forth, or you shall know no mercy. <laughs> Confound it. Because that's what I'd say in that situation. Stay out of sight. I would leave a message with you. I surrender myself on the condition you spare the innocents. Condition? There speaks the Supreme Sire. I'll grant you have courage, but you would be better served by armor. Search all you will. The one you seek is not here. So it would seem. And yet you knew to look here. But how? <gasps> Hold that thought. Conditions of surrender denied. Cease at once. <laughs> Have you not done enough? Perhaps. Enough. We must away. Though we have not found our quarry, the High Priestess of the Scions should suffice for now. They say she also possesses the Echo. <laughs> I cannot wait to hear her scream. I said enough! We leave. Bring the prisoners.
walking, walking when Minvilia asked this one to. In case walking one returned, this one was to say, to say, at church in eastern Thanalan, walking one must claim sanctuary. This one tried, tried to protect walking one Minvilia from the imperial ones. Forgive this one. Save. She just got real. <laughs> 